What's going on, y'all? It's Flight Sports TV, man. Appreciate y'all checking in with me, man. Um, we got a we got a topic to touch on today. Breaking news coming out the NBA. You know, it's one of the tough moments. Uh, David Stern passed away today. Um, so you know, I thought we dedicated our video. Um, you know, remembering his legacy with the NBA. Um, a little bit of uh, what I know. Um. And we're going to get into it. Um, he just passed away today. Um, so before we do that, uh, hit that like button. Most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Fly Sports TV, man. I appreciate everybody checking in with me, man. You know, uh, definitely subscribe to this channel. Uh, support, the, support the stream. You could donate. Uh, donations link will be in the description box below this video. Also in the comment section. You can check out, I got all the links very accessible for the people. Okay. Uh, support the merchandise store, pexoticshop.com. We got sweatsuits and bomber jackets. Four different colorways on the sweatsuits. Now, it's still cold out. You feel me? Get, check out this new line. Don't forget about that hundred dollar hundred subscribe giveaway. We we up to we up to sixty plus subscribers. We're creeping up on seventy. We almost there. Um, shout out to all my uh, all my members, man. The real rights, y'all know who y'all are. You feel me? I ain't gonna forget about y'all when we get to the top. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, you know, David Stern passed away today. You know, he had some health issues. Um, you know, back in the day, not back in the days, recently. You know, for I think it was a while now. I think it, it, the news broke. He was he was battling some health issues. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe what happened was there was some type of brain complications um, that led to his uh, demise. You know, uh, today. Um, but you you heard rumblings behind the scenes that something like this could have been on the horizon. You know, um, it, it's crazy. You know, if you're an NBA fan, especially if you've been, if you are uh, a part of, been a part of this uh, NBA situation for years. You know, I grew up uh, uh, in the NBA system. You know, like I said, my my dad, he he loved basketball. He understood basketball inside, outside. He's almost like a scientist. That's one of the more things he was underrated about about his knowledge, my, I'm talking about my father, his knowledge on basketball. I think that's one of the more underrated things that he, he has that people in my family don't know. You know, he was, he was, he was really, he really knew what he was talking about. Um, and I, and I could tell, you know, I could tell when somebody known when somebody pump faking. <clears throat> so thanks to my pops, you know. Um, so when coming up in the in the league situation, David Stern was the face, you know, was one of the faces of the league, you know, the voice of the league, you know, coming up, you know, um, you know, like I said, every he was very vocal. Um, he was a, he was a very, like I said, he was visual, a visual commissioner. He always was was seen. You understand? He well, he didn't really play behind the scenes, you know, but he was seen, you know. He was credited, you know, for a lot of things, you know, with the suit and ties and the dress codes that y'all see now in the NBA. You know, David Stern changed that up, you know, back in the days, you know, when I was coming up, it wasn't always like how it looked today when you see um where it's almost like a fashion uh statement every game, you know, you see the you see the people looking through the tunnel when the players arrive to the arena, everybody in their three piece suits. You know, come people coming in with crazy fashion statements, you know, very formal. You know, um, when I was coming up, people came with chains and tees on, you know, jeans, baggy jeans, Timberlands, you know, Nikes, you know, things of that nature, fitted hats, you know, iced out chains, jewelry, big diamond earrings, pinky rings. You understand? That, that, that's where I came in. That's what I, that's, the, that's the era I came in, you know, where the NBA was a lot different, more physical. You know, David Stern kind of revamped the league uh, and, and put it in a situation where how you see it today. You know, remember, Adam Silver just got in the door like a couple years ago. He, I don't think he got, he, he's very less than 10 years. I think, what is he, just a little, if, if not five, a little a little over, if that. I, I don't have the right numbers. I get in, all my numbers get in the comments section. Y'all let me know what the deal is. You know, um, how help, help correct me on, on some of these situations. Um, you know, so it's definitely, it's, it's, de it's definitely crazy. You know, like I said, he, 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 he really, um, did, um, like I said, he, he put the league in a great position, 
cleaning it up to the point where it was more where it was more accessible you know it, it, it was more accessible for um the viewers and newcomers for people to come to, to come view the product you know so um that, that that's the best part about it you know um also he it was a, it was major drug issues going on in the nba where where nba stars role players um things as such um well, excuse me for that little dip that popped off, you know, right there. But like I said, it was a serious drug epidemic going on in the, in the, in the NBA where David Stern kind of really implemented testing, and it was um not just not just like narcotic drugs, also steroids. Uh, all of these things were kind of uh, HGH. You know, it, you know, David Stern was a was a was a, was very on top of things like that. You know, David Stern also um, was a part of Magic Johnson when he came out for the HIV virus. He was he he was a key component along with Magic Johnson and his representatives of educating the masses on the HIV virus. You know, because everybody wasn't informed at the time when Magic came out um, when he uh, when he came out with with the HIV. AIDS situation, and, and te he educated us that he actually never had AIDS. It was actually HIV, you know. So he ed they educated the the, the world on, on this this d disease in particular, and he was a um he was a catalyst with, with bringing Magic Johnson back to playing the All Star game and also competing in the Olympics with the Dream Team, you know, um putting his hand on one of the, the greatest team ever assembled, arguably. You know, um, people say it was, people say it is, you know, I come from, I, I, like I said, I, I was a, I, I observed that era, but I come up in a different era. I really like the redeem team. Don't sleep on that redeem team. You know, a lot of people don't give them their credit, but like I said, um, it, it was, it was plenty more. Y'all get in that comment section. Y'all let me know what y'all remember most about David Stern, you know, um, and another thing you can't forget about David Stern, no, he was heavy-handed on those suspensions. You know, David Stern would hit you with, with a, you, if y'all don't remember what happened in uh, Indiana with Ron Artest, Stephen Jackson, and the crew, you know, the, um, the malice in the palace. Um, and, and also uh, the New York Knicks um, with the Denver Nuggets when they fought. Uh, Carmelo Anthony was on the Nuggets at that time, and they had a big fight. Um that broke out, um, and it was a it was a crazy situation, you know. Um, where basically they got basically they, he suspended basically players for like half of the whole NBA, a quarter of the season, you know. Um, so it, so that's the one of the one of the one of the things you remember most about David Stern about um, you know basically like I said he didn't play with the suspensions. You know, uh, excuse me for a lot, but like I said, he didn't play around with the suspensions. You know, um, players um, really thought twice before getting physical. You know, pe players thought twice before getting in another person's face. Uh, players thought twice, you know, because they knew David Stern was a heavy hand. It was a situation that happened, uh, was it that, no, it was last year. Where, and even this year, if you want to count, um... But what I'm alluding to is last year was a situation where Chris Paul and Rajon Rondo had gotten to a fight. I believe it was like the second or third game of the season last year. Uh, Brandon Ingram, everybody was involved, um, you know, uh, and basically Chris Paul and Rondo came to blows. You know, people actually got punched in their face each. You know, they both got a hit off each other. <laughs> now, Davis, I mean, now, um, let's get into Adam Silver. The difference is Adam Silver, I think, suspended them both for four games. I think, you know, what was it? I think it was two games, if I'm not mistaken. It was like two games apiece. And I think uh, Brandon Ingram got the most. I think he got four games, if I'm not mistaken. Could you now think about two and four games for a physical fight where punches was thrown, people jumped in, it was a big mess, commotion, and and it was a, a total of four. <laughs> it was a total of of about less than ten games, okay, <laughs> in general, okay, for 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 the situation that occurred, okay. So could you imagine 
if um, our uh, David Stern was the commissioner, David Stern would have suspended those guys for half the season. So um, these these are things that um, people don't people need to remember about David Stern. You know, um, so that was one thing. But nonetheless, he was a great commissioner. You know, um, it, like I said, it was just a familiar face growing up. You know, you knew he, I knew what he was, and, and I knew what he was about, and. All the stars vouched for him, you know, and Adam Silver took over. You know, he he's, uh, was under him for many years, and Adam Silver is doing a good job at the helm right now. Um, um, leading towards, uh, you know, dipping their hand in civil rights issues, uh, police brutality, you know, um, politics, you know, um, just everything. You know, uh, David Stern uh, also, just to get back to David Stern, um, David Stern was basically, um, he launched the WNBA as well, you know, provide women with a, a, a position to play basketball at the highest level, you know, and make it, make a good, a good living, you know, um, you know, so it's, 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 it's crazy, you know, um, they, the impact David Stern has, has made on, on basketball, not just the NBA, just all through the ranks, you know, um, cause in the NBA is a trickling down effect. What happens in the NBA is a trickling down effect. It trickles to college, it trickles to high school, it trickles to middle school, it trickles to AAU, it trickles to recreation. You understand? <laughs> So that's what I'm trying to tell you. So when something happens at the top, everything gets affected. You understand? There's a trickling down effect through all through the ranks. And David Stern, he 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 impacted basketball in a whole. Um, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Like I said, get in the comment section. Y'all let me know how y'all felt. You know, um, like I said, rest in peace to David Stern. You know, um, and, and this whole family, but we do, I'm just going to break the news here. It's a big story in the NBA. It's a tough situation. Um, a lot of players are speaking out. It's Flight Sports TV. We're bringing the news and we're bringing the content. Hit that like button. Most definitely hit that subscribe button. Donate to the platform. The link will be in the description box below this video. Also in the comment section. Support the merchandise store, pexoticshop.com. It's Flight Sports TV. Subscribe right now. We're creeping up on 70 subscribers. Subscribe now. It's Flight Sports.